Hello and welcome in this session, definition of volumetric strain. In this session, we will see what is exactly the volumetric strain is. Let us see the definition of volumetric strain. When a member is subjected to a forces, deforming it, it undergoes changes in its dimension and hence its volume will be subjected to a change. Therefore, the ratio of change in volume of the or to the original volume is called as volumetric strain. It is denoted with this symbol E suffix small v. And the formulation we can write the volumetric strain equals change in volume upon original volume of the material. So here for defining volumetric strain, you may consider any material, any shape of a material and when it undergoes under the effect of forces, the forces may be tensile, forces may be compressive, then there will be the change in volume accordingly. If tensile forces are acting, then there will be increase in volume or elongation in any of the lens. And if the compressive forces are acting, then there will be reduction in volume. Now let us see these things with some example. Let us consider this rectangular cube having h, small h as a height, l as a length and small b as a breadth. As shown in figure, this cube is subjected to tensile forces along all three axes. And the effect of which there will be increase in length, increase in height and increase in breadth of this cube. And now we can say the new dimensions of these cubes can be h plus delta h and this delta h is change in its height. L plus delta L. Now this delta L is change in length. While breadth plus delta B where this delta B is change in breadth. Now if we put all these things into a mathematical formulation of volumetric strain, we know that the change in volume upon original volume gives us the volumetric strain. Hence, the change in volume, here we can write in each of the axes, the change in volume would be length into breadth into delta h, as this is change in volume along height. Then L into delta b into h, this will be change in volume along breadth. And then delta L into B into H, this will be change in volume along the length. And then original volume will be L into B into H. And simplifying this, we can get the delta L upon delta H upon H, delta B upon B, and delta L upon L. And what is this? You can understand this is nothing but, hence, this is nothing but we can say the volumetric strain equals the strain of height which is delta L upon H plus strain of breadth which is delta B upon B plus strain of length which is delta L upon L. Similarly, for different shapes and sizes of material and specimen, we can define the volumetric strain. I hope this session is useful for you. Thank you.